spirited drives unreliable cars ben compton so i am uh just now crossing over to washington from idaho heading over to western washington where i'm going to pick up my mini my 92 classic mini stanley a lot of you have seen pictures and videos of him but uh you know classic minis uh and i, I you notice i always make that designation classic minis I tried new minis. Uh, I, I'm still in therapy over it. Never again. Anyway, uh, classic minis have brought some of the coolest people into my life. And I'm heading over to A-Series Northwest. Uh, James Thompson is hands down one of the coolest people you'll ever meet. Even if I didn't have classic minis and he never touched her, uh, my car and turned a wrench, he's just a really neat person. But I'm excited to go pick Stanley up um, because he's been gone for a while. And, you know, I do this every time. I take him over to have one or two things fixed that I can't figure out or, or giving me uh, a hard time. And then once he's over there, I'm like, hey, while you have it, why not? Or how about all these little things that have been in my head on what to do on him. So I always end up, uh, James always ends up doing a lot of cool stuff that I, I didn't originally intend when he went over. And this is no exception. He did a lot of really neat things about it. And I'll talk more about that later. But... Yeah, we're about six hours away, and I'm going to head over there, and i uh, got a little bit of work to do on my, my real-life job, and then I get to pick him up and look at all the cool stuff that he's done, so I'm excited. All right, let's head over to western Washington. Hopefully it's not pounding rain. What are the odds of it not pounding rain in western Washington? I know. Spirited Drives. It seems like every time I take my Mini to James, I always end up getting more done to it than I had originally told him when I planned it uh, to drop it off. You know, this car, again, this this Mini, this 92 Mini Stanley, uh, I had a really nice Mini years ago, and I bought this one after I sold it as kind of a, this will get me by. I wasn't really excited about the purchase. I mean, I was excited to have a Mini again, but he was rattier than the other Mini that I had. I liked the wagons and this is a sedan and I thought well this will work and in a lot of ways it was in really good shape but in a lot of ways it was tough the engine looked like a boat anchor um, it had 500 miles of useless wiring had these ugly uh, pitted out uh, wheels on it little balloon 10 inch tires that were really strange and just a, a ton of little stuff that was like eh. and I never planned on restoring it it's a 92 you know my 67 mini yeah but anyway so I've had it for years and I've done a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit there and a little bit here and now the car is almost unrecognizable compared to when I got him and it's funny I was talking to James the other day about how it all kind of creeps up on you I want to repaint the top I'm gonna and we did uh, James repainted the top uh, we made the interior nice and pretty. We made the engine nice and pretty. I never liked the exhaust system. Uh, one of the things that James did when he had it this time was finally, finally put a decent exhaust system on it. The one I'd been talking about for years. I didn't know we were going to be doing it this trip, but I said, yeah, why not? The previous exhaust system on it had these little twin pipes coming out the back, and each one was about the diameter of a propane pipe. It looked ridiculous. Um, it sounded okay, but it just looked silly. So, yeah, we... We dropped him off this time because uh, there was an ongoing issue with the carburetor that was just ticking me off, and um, I couldn't figure out why the turn signals weren't working. I replaced the flasher. Anyway, so that's why he went to James. Ended up doing both of those things and putting this really cool exhaust system, and I casually mentioned that someday I'm going to replace the grill on on Stanley because it's it's not a style I cared for. He happened to have a really nice black grill sitting up in his parts bin 
you know, I've never liked black grills on minis. And I said, yeah, if you want to hang it there and show me a picture. Oh, my God. It was just beautiful. I said, how, how could I have not done this a long time ago? So, anyway, once again, way more upgrades than I thought when I dropped them off. So, I'm excited to go pick them up. And uh, here in my trusty uh, 2003 Chevy Tahoe. I should do a, a video about this thing. I know you're going, how boring, but... You know, I've almost got 400,000 miles on this, and it's just an amazing shape. That, that's a testament right there. Anyway, getting off subject, so let's run over to James at A-Series Northwest, and let's grab my mini. Oh, something sounds kind of mean and tough. Idling a bit fast because he's cold and got the choke out, but boy, does that sound. You can't pick it up on camera. There's no way... Wow, that sounds better. Ooh, look at there he is, there he is. Ooh, the new snaky black grill. Oh man, this is exciting. Oh, I'm excited. I wish it was summer right now. The ratty little mini that I was like, eh. It'll get me by. I'll get something nice and sell it. There it is. Now, instead of two little tiny pipes, it's got two relatively large pipes. Hey, James. Hi. Mr. A-Series Northwest himself. So fill me in again on this exhaust system because every time I try to repeat it to somebody, I can't. It's, to me, it's like a reverse tuba, trombone, tambourine, <laughs> something. What is it called again? So it's a reverse cone megaphone into a twin DTM tip. And you had to kind of get creative to get this tip onto this system. Correct, because they, they only have... They only sell the system with the twin DTM tip or the reverse cone megaphone. So to get both, you have to buy two different systems and combine the two. And you did it. And I did it. And this car, as it was, already had kind of a Franken system on it with like three or four different yeah, pipes. Yeah, pipes changed sizes like three different times and it had like four different joints in it. And it had some kind of weird double tip. It looked like a motorcycle exhaust. Right. I, I think I, uh, I mentioned earlier that it looked like two little propane pipes sticking out the back. And this is the same exhaust system we're going to put on my green 67 that you've also got here, right? Correct. Okay, yeah, cool. Long wheel base right. And uh, still with the... Are we, are, we, are we still going to do the twin pipes, you think? Or just twin single? Twin pipes, but they have to go to the side. Right, right, right. Side on a wagon. Oh, James, he sounds great. I was commenting earlier how this car was my ratty one that I wasn't going to do anything with. And over the course of a couple years, you've transformed it into a... It looks pretty mean, yeah. Yeah, it does. Now, James, didn't you start out like a million years ago as a Chevy guy? Well, I still am a Chevy oh, you guy. You still are a Chevy guy, yeah. but I mean, what's the deal with the Mini? Because I know when I saw pictures of you uh, back in the Stone Age, because we're about the same age, you had a, like a Corvair or something, right? Yeah, well, that was my first my first official car was a 65 Corvair convertible. Because you've been playing with Minis, I think, almost ever since then, Yeah, right? well, my best friend had a Mini in high school. And so I, I ended up with my first Mini just out of high school. And um, been minis ever since. Been minis ever since too. So I still have my Chevys around, but I uh, I got hooked on minis a long time ago and just never let go. And now you're doing it full time, E Series Northwest. In fact, you can see we've got some uh, some minis sitting over there. I know the blue one is yours that you're selling, but Correct. you're obviously uh, the man in demand because you've got cars inside your shop, coming, outside yeah. the shop, and there's more coming. Well, I'm glad more I coming. get mine out of your or one of mine out of your way. You still have the other one. James, he sounds great. And then you know what? Like I said, I've never that's cared for black grill, grills, yeah. but. Kind of sets off. It's a little, a little more aggressive now. Yeah. Yeah, an angry little mini. <laughs> oh, I'm sold. Thank you so much. You're I can't welcome. wait to get him home. And I can actually drive him now.
So what other fun projects you got going on in here? That looks shiny. It is. It's new built. Uh, it's an 1100 or 1098 uh, board 40 over, which puts it at 1136. That sounds like torque. Uh, yeah, very torquey. Long stroke. Long nice. stroke motor. I like 1100s. My very first Mini had an 1100 in it, and you know, I see I see sometimes people speaking disparagingly about them. I, I loved mine. I thought it was great. I've had two 1100s in the past, and they're very torquey, very fun motor. The only thing that they lack is like freeway overtaking speed. You're not going to sure. pull out into the fast lane and, and pass a semi truck, but um, but otherwise, it's it's a great motor, especially in town, going up steep hills. Um, yeah, I I, yeah, real I, torquey. I liked being able to drive mine without worrying about exactly what you're saying. Am I going to get up this hill without having to drop her to second and pray? Yep. And yep. then over here, which also looks uh, like it's got some shiny green components and other shinies, that is a familiar looking gearbox. Yep. So that is a. I think I've seen this in here before, haven't I? 1128 4 Synchro remote gearbox that I've changed out the tail shaft to work with your magic wand shifter. This is the one you showed me last time I was here, right? Yes. You said it's going to go in. Oh, there it is. Yep. So this is a different gearbox. And this one's your gearbox that's going to go into perfect. Okay. Green Wagon is going to actually have some ability to move. Cool. Yep. And it'll have a, an Austin America 1275 with a Megadyne 266 cam. And so, it'll be a nice, torquey, fun motor as well. So like my black one, I can actually drive it on the highway now. Oh, absolutely. Nice. Yep. 344 final drive, you can do 70 miles an hour with no problem. Perfect.